All right, hi, boys and girls. It is your friend, Mr. Duty, taking you on a very special trip today. Now, we're going to have a few friends help me as tour guides. But here we are in outer space, and that right there, that blue little ball, is Earth. We live somewhere on that blue sphere that I'll show you in just a moment. Now, I think what I want to start to do is once every few weeks taking you on a virtual field trip, which means we don't get to actually go to these places in person, but we get to see them and see what they look like if we were there using photographs and videos and other things. So hold on to your hat. We'll be right back with your tour guide. Thank you. Oh, yeah, your tour guide has arrived. It's me, the macho man. So everybody, my boy, Mr. Duty says, take the kids on a trip. So everybody strap yourselves in, and we gonna go. Here we go. So listen, I wanna start off by taking you somewhere that y'all know very well. It's the country you from, and that is the United States of America. God bless the USA. Now, within the United States, we're gonna focus on an area very close to you. And my friends, in Lancaster, New York, that place is called Niagara Falls. Oh, yeah. You know the macho man loves some mist. Now, we gonna land in Niagara Falls in my helicopter, so everybody strap yourselves in. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Settle down there, helicopter. All right. All right. Now, here we are in Niagara Falls. Now, the really cool thing, brothers and sisters, is on this side where this yellow little part is, that's the United States. But if you cross this river right here, the Niagara River, now you're in Canada. Pretty crazy, huh? I wonder what the currency values are. Anyways, let's check it out. So, the very first falls we're going to visit is the American Falls. Now, if you've ever been to the the USA side of the falls, you know it's a very powerful thing to see. Thousands of gallons of water go over this falls every minute, actually. It's pretty amazing. Now, I want to show you what the falls looks like up close. So if you were standing next to the falls, this is what it would look like. The macho man's going to be quiet for a minute let you just watch. See how majestic it is. Ooh, man. Talk about a wonder of the world. Hello, sir, in the sunglasses. What's up? Yeah? Who you looking at? That's right, look away, because I'm the macho man. Anyways, here is Niagara Falls. All these buildings over here, this tall tower, that's part of Canada. We'll get to that in a minute. But this is what it looks like at the top. At the bottom, though, we talking scary stuff. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Get to the bottom of the American Falls. Now take a look at that. Talk about treacherous. We're talking thousands of gallons of water powering over those falls. And at the bottom, rock filled. Very, very dangerous, folks. Now, that is the American side. But of course, there's another way to see the American falls. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. You know the macho man loves nature. Now, this right here is called the Observation Tower. It's a very tall tower that lets you see all over Niagara Falls. And this picture is so perfect. It shows you the American side. That's this part right here closest to us. And all the way in the distance, that's the Canadian side. Yeah. You know we like our Canadian friends, right? You'll be back soon at the Galleria Mall once the restrictions are lifted. But anyways... We're going to talk about the Canadian Falls next. Oftentimes, the Canadian Falls is called the Horseshoe Falls. I'm going to take you there and see if you can figure out why. Here we go. Macho Man's going to take a sip of his vitamin water because his throat hurts. Oh, yeah. Now, take a look at this. I said it's called the Horseshoe Falls. Let me get a little closer here. See if y'all can figure out why it's called the Horseshoe Falls. That's right. I heard one of my little girls say it. It's shaped like a horseshoe. Watch my mouse right here. It goes around. It's a horseshoe. Now, this is by far more water goes over this falls than the American side. Let me show you what it looks like if you were standing next to it. Oh, yeah. Now, man, this is the more beautiful of the side. Most people would say that. There's not as many rocks at the bottom, and it's also just a giant flow of water going down. 
This is what it looks like if you were standing next to it. Now, you can see, holy moly, it looks like clouds, right? That's mist because of evaporation. You'll learn about that as you get older. But that is the Canadian side of the falls. Now, where are we going next? Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Macho Man did this once back in 94. It's called the Journey Behind the Falls. And what it does is it takes you right next to and underneath even Niagara Falls. It's pretty magical. See these little yellow jackets these people got on? They didn't all dress the same. You get that if you go. It protects you from getting wet. You got to protect hair like this. That's the journey behind the falls. Yeah, man. There's lots of things to do when you are in, when you are in Niagara Falls. And one of them, my friends, is going. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. This is the Whirlpool Arrow car. Check this thing out. It's like a giant, uh, almost like a bus that flies in the sky. Now, let me show you. Look at this thing. Looks like one of the bottom of one of those hot air balloons, except it's big. People got faces that are blurred out for some reason. But check this out. You get to go over this and look down and yell, Hello, fishies! Can you hear me, fishies? And you can look out all over the Niagara Gorge. Look how beautiful that is. Some people might say it's gorgeous. You know the macho man likes humor. Anyways, on we go. Where are we going next? Take the macho man. Oh, yeah. Hold on to your seats. Yeah, where are we going next? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Macho man pinned a lot of places. It's hard to know. Oh my goodness. This is maybe my favorite place here. This is the Maid in the Mist. Now the Maid in the Mist is a boat. They got them on the US side and the Canadian side. This is obviously the Canadian boat rocking their red ponchos and their maple leaves. Go Sabres! But anyways, this boat is so amazing. It takes you right next to the falls, the Canadian and the American side. Pretty amazing. That's the Maid of the Mist. Say it with me. Maid of the Mist. Oh, yeah. All right. How we go? How we go? Where are we going next, man? Ooh, yeah. Now, ooh. Ooh, I want to change it. This is my favorite, actually. I'm going to introduce you to another Niagara Falls in a moment, too. This is the Cave of the Winds. And they call it that because you walk down almost like you in a cave and it's windy and it's wet and it's misty. Oh, you know the macho man likes that. Now check out how cool this is. Look at this. You get to walk right on this deck. And this falls right here, this small one, that's called the Bridal Veil Falls because it looks like a bride's veil. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. And watch how cool Google Earth is. We can actually go up these stairs. You want to get closer? Let me hear you say, yeah. All right, we going. I know that one kid on his couch just sitting there, though, eating his frosted flakes, saying he wants to play Fortnite. Well, tough luck, Oliver. You got to do what the macho man says. And I'm kidding. A kid named Oliver is probably a good kid. All right. Look at this. We're going up to the veil. Here we go. Let's go. Get your poncho on. And that is the Cave of the Winds. I recommend that if you ever in Niagara Falls. And if someone from Niagara Falls Tourist uh, Academy, whatever it's called, is watching this, maybe give the Macho Man a free pass, right? He's advertising for your company. All right. Our last spot is the most, uh, the tallest, most enjoyable view in all of Niagara Falls. This friends right here is called the Skyline Tower. I'm going to tell you a funny story that happened to my friend, Mr. Duty, when he was just 10 years old at the Skyline Tower in a minute. But look at this view. Oh, my goodness. This right here is the Rainbow Bridge. I see the American Falls. It looks like wintertime. You bet it gets cold in the winter and really cool in Niagara Falls, too. Everything ice is over. Pretty amazing. And good question. I heard one of those girls or boys, I couldn't tell, ask that question. No, Niagara Falls does not freeze. The water keeps rolling. Sometimes at the bottom it does. You could even walk down back in the old days. They'd have areas you could walk, a little dangerous, but it'll freeze the river. But up top, it won't. It won't. No, that water keeps flowing. Water moves like that, it can't freeze. Mm -mm. Now, look at this Skyline Tower. Here's the story I want to tell you about the Skyline Tower. Your friend, Mr. Duty, came here. This, this, now, this is really cool. This is a restaurant. You could eat in this place. And it spins around, but spins really slow like this. Anyways, we left the Skyline Tower when I was 10 years old. 
a bird pooped out my bill's head. Poop right on my bill's head. Mm-hmm. Not happy at all. Not happy at all. I'm still going to get that seagull one day. Now, friends, today we went to Niagara Falls. Tons to see, tons to do, and it's only about 30 minutes from your house. Go sometime if you're interested. Read more about this if you're interested. One of the things that I love most about Niagara Falls, you're going to watch it next, is this place attracts people from all over the world. And years ago, there used to be these people called daredevils, right? Ooh, yeah, man. Daredevils would try to go over Niagara Falls in barrels, in self-made things to try to survive. Some of them did, some didn't. Not a wise decision nonetheless. But you can watch that video and visit Niagara Falls sometime, all right? Hope you enjoyed your trip. We'll see you back here in a few weeks. Ooh, yeah.